Hello everyone, welcome to Dentomedia YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about development disturbances in size of teeth. Let's get started. Microdontia The term microdontia should be applied only when the teeth are physically smaller than usual. Microdontia is usually transmitted as an autosomal dominant with incomplete penetrance. Three types of microdontia are recognized. 1. True generalized microdontia. 2. Relative generalized microdontia. And 3. Microdontia involving a single tooth. In true generalized microdontia, all the teeth are smaller than normal. Aside from its occurrence in some cases of pituitary dwarfism, Down syndrome, and congenital heart disease, this condition is exceedingly rare. The teeth are reportedly well-formed, merely small. Relative generalized normal or slightly smaller than normal teeth are present in jaws that are somewhat larger than normal. It is hereditary. It often exhibits spacing between the teeth. Microdontia involving only a single tooth is a rather common condition. It affects most often the maxillary lateral incisor and the third molar. These two teeth are among those that are most often congenitally missing. One of the common forms of localized microdontia is that which affects the maxillary lateral incisor, a condition that has been called the peg lateral. Instead of exhibiting parallel or diverging mesial and distal surfaces, the sides converge or taper together in sizali, forming a peg-shaped or cone-shaped crown. The root of such a tooth is frequently shorter than usual, treatment of the dentition is not necessary unless desired for aesthetic considerations. Maxillary peg laterals often are restored to full size by porcelain crowns, macrodontia. Macrodontia is the opposite of microdontia and refers to teeth that are larger than normal. Such teeth may be classified in the same manner as microdontia. It is also called as megadontia, megalodontia. Three types of macrodontia are recognized 1. True generalized macrodontia, 2. Relative generalized macrodontia, and 3. Macrodontia involving a single tooth. True generalized macrodontia, the condition in which all teeth are larger than normal has been associated with pituitary gigantism, relative generalized macrodontia is somewhat more common and is a result of the presence of normal or slightly larger than normal teeth in small jaws, the disparity in size giving the illusion of macrodontia. As in microdontia, the importance of heredity must be considered, macrodontia of single teeth is relatively uncommon, but is occasionally seen. It is of unknown etiology. The tooth may appear normal in every respect except for its size. True macrodontia of a single tooth should not be confused with fusion of teeth, in which, early in odontogenesis, the union of two or more teeth results in a single large tooth. A variant of this localized macrodontia is the type that is occasionally seen in cases of hemihypertrophy of the face, in which the teeth of the involved side may be considerably larger than those of the unaffected side. We will keep on uploading oral pathology videos, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification, thank you for watching.